What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a full day of eating, but with just a little twist, just a slight twist. Today we're gonna to be doing a full day of eating, but with fast food only. So we're only gonna be going to like McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, places like that. And the point of the video is just to prove to you guys that you can actually maintain a rather semi-healthy diet even though you can go to all these fast food restaurants. So the macros for today are now on the screen and my goal is to hit the target as close as possible. I know that I can hit the carb and the fat count without an issue, but the protein might be a little bit more of a challenge. But it is breakfast time, so let's grab some breakfast, get our first meal of the day in, and we'll catch you guys with breakfast. So our first stop of the day, Dunkin' Donuts because, you know, America runs on Dunkin'. We're also gonna make one more pit stop because I do think that Dunkin' Donuts coffee is absolutely shit. Don't at me. We're gonna grab coffee and another piece of our breakfast from another place very close by. Let's get into Dunkin'. You do me, I do you. Feed me lies and we'll find the truth. Woo! Pull up to the Wendy's, Duke! Or turn this bitch upside down! Hi, right, can I have the the egg white um egg bites please? You already know. Got the little egg white bites because you gotta kinda keep it healthy. You gotta keep it healthy with the egg white bites. Hey, man. One eternity later. What the fuck are my egg white bites? Okay. All right, so we're home. We have our meal number one. We have our Dunkin'. We also have our Starbucks. The two behemoths, the two major players in the breakfast industry. So for breakfast, I opted for a ham, egg, and cheese on an English muffin. The macros for this meal are now on the screen, taken directly from the Dunkin' Donuts website to make sure I'm accurate. I also put it into meal power just to make sure that I'm tracking everything correctly. And from Starbucks, we got the egg white egg bites, which is moderate in protein, moderate in fat, which as I mentioned, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get our protein intake, so it's low in carb. This is what we're looking for because all the other meals are probably gonna be high in carb, high in fat. And of course, we have coffee, which I also included my own creamer that I brought in from home, one serving. Not gonna count that because it's very minute. So we're gonna eat meal number one, probably watch The Mandalorian for a little bit because the show is awesome. If you don't have the D+, I suggest you get it, especially if you have a Verizon, it's free for a year. And I'll catch you guys for meal number two. All right, so for lunch, we're having an artesian grilled chicken sandwich. Six piece chicken nuggets, small fries, and a diet vanilla Coke because this is absolutely fucking crack. We also did pick up a small yogurt, like yogurt parfait for later as like a snack before we go to the gym. Um, obviously, because you gotta hit the gym. McDonald's kind of being rough around the edges in terms of like macros and stuff like that, it's really difficult to find a meal that is macro friendly, but if you go for like a chicken sandwich, not that bad. The macros for this meal are on the screen now. So we're gonna eat meal number two and progress throughout the full day of eating. So we're finished with meal number two, which was McDonald's. You saw what I had. I had the grilled chicken sandwich, some chicken nuggets for extra protein, small fries, and a Diet Coke. I mean, not your ideal meal, right? Because you wanna kind of be clean, but if you have a meal prep for the week, if you're short on time, there are options in these fast food restaurants to eat relatively clean. Now, don't get me wrong, a lot of these foods are high in carb, high in fat, and it's not really the best for you, but you could still have a decent meal at McDonald's, at Wendy's, at Burger King, but you just have to make the right choices. You can't go for a Big Mac or a double cheeseburger and expect to make the same gains if you're eating like a chicken sandwich. What the hell? So it's been a few hours since our last meal, which was McDonald's. And if you guys do recall, I did buy this yogurt at McDonald's as a pre-workout meal. So we're about to head over to the gym, bang out a workout. Uh, there's actually gonna be no workout in this video itself, but if you guys do wanna check out any of the playlists on my channel, there's plenty of workouts that I do on my channel itself, which you guys are more than welcome to check out. Uh, so we're gonna eat this real quick, head to the gym, and I'll catch you guys 
for our post-workout meal. And that would be our second to last meal of the day. This yogurt's not too bad. It's low fat, pretty decent protein, good carbs. I mean, I don't know if it's artificial strawberries, but it tastes delicious. Uh, can I have the grilled chicken wrap, please? Okay. And can I also have a plain baked potato? Okay. That's it. All right, next one, please. Thank you. Thanks. So we are back from the gym, and we picked up our final fast food meal of the day. And so that's going to be a baked potato and a grilled chicken wrap. The macros for this meal are on the screen now. Actually, surprisingly, the baked potato is pretty clean if you don't add any sour cream or any butter. Um, it's pretty much just carbs and a little bit of protein. Grilled chicken wrap, it's just a grilled chicken wrap. We are well under our protein macros for the day. So to end the night, I am gonna have a protein shake just because I wanna at least try and hit my protein goal for the day. Probably still not gonna hit it, but that is kind of the consequence when you have a fast food diet. It's not really high in protein. So we're gonna enjoy this real quick and then I'll catch you guys for the last meal and also to wrap up the video. I just wanna say this is the sorriest grilled chicken wrap I've ever seen in my life. There's literally like almost like not even half a piece of chicken in there. And that's with me taking just one small bite to start off the wrap. Wendy's, what is this? I need protein. So we are gonna wrap up today's full day of eating with a protein shake. Yes, as I mentioned, we are gonna have a protein shake for today just because Ultimately, when you're eating fast food, it's very hard to find high protein meals. It's mostly a lot of carbs, a lot of fat. So unfortunately, we are gonna have to have a protein at the end of the night, which is no big deal. I'm having two scoops of protein just to help my protein intake. And even then, I'm still coming up relatively short. As you guys can see on the screen now, uh, the macros for the day, I came up a little bit short, but that's okay. But I did hit the fat and I did hit the carb goal, which I'm really happy I didn't go over on either. And ultimately, the message I want to send to you guys is that you can make healthier choices at these restaurants. You can go to McDonald's, you can go to Burger King, Wendy's, wherever the case may be. You just better make healthier choices. Just don't go for the super size. Don't go for the large fries. Don't go for the large soda, the Big Mac. Those are the things that will negatively impact the gains or the weight loss you guys want to see. And enjoy what you want. Just have a healthy relationship with food. Go where you want to eat. If you, I understand that life gets in the way, that maybe sometimes we don't have enough time to meal prep. We have kids, we have family that we have to attend to, and maybe we don't have time to cook. But if you have time, 10 minutes to go to McDonald's and pick up a meal, you can eat relatively cheap and you can still eat something relatively clean. Is it the best food for you? No, that's not what I'm saying. But you can still make a healthier choice at these places. But enough ranting to you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you haven't already, make sure you drop a like and also subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.